Dominique, I I'm the father of two small children. They've both done gymnastics. Oh. I pay for my dogs. I've got two of them. I've got a lot of living <laughs> creatures in my house. It also, though, means that I got to look out for their economic well-being. How exactly do you then bridge the gap between balancing family and being a very oh. busy small business owner? You know, I was thinking about that um, work-life ba work balance is, um, I'm not going to say it's a joke because you have to always strive for that, but it's a juggling act. Uh, my husband's been wanting me to golf with him. It's not like he golfs a lot, Jeff. I'm not saying you're golfing all the time, uh, but he wants me to spend quality time with him, and we think golf would be a fun sport that we can take up. And so it's learning to listen to your spouse and also listen to your children. Um, for the last couple of months, my kids do, especially my oldest will say to me, I'm working way too hard. She's like, you're working too much. You're always working. I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Um, my grandfather was a gar garbage man. He owned the company. My, my, my father was a garbage man. My uncles owned recycling companies. And so it's very much in my DNA and in my blood. However, I'm cognizant to know that, um, you know, I don't want to spend my life just working and focusing on my business and, and forsake that of which is of most importance to me. And that's my faith and my family. And so as a business owner, you do have to sometimes step away. Um, it is a 24-7 um, commitment, but at the same time, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how great my academies do. If I'm empowering thousands of kids that come through my doors, and yet my own four kids feel neglected by me. And so it is a challenge. I think entrepreneurs deal with this all the time. We have to learn to step back. But what I always remind myself of is my kids, our kids, my husband and I's kids, they come to the gym with us. You know, I'm not um, running a business where I don't want or I'm not capable of bringing my kids to the facility and being inspired by my positive coaches or I don't have a, a franchise where I don't allow my kids to eat the food because I know it's toxic, but yet it's a profitable business. You know, what I'm doing is for my family as well. And I always try to instill certain entrepreneurial traits in my young kids. Some of them are taking it on like they're they will answer a phone and say, Dominique Dawes, Gymnastics and Ninja Academy, how can I help you? Because I want this to be a family affair because this is very much a family business. And, and Dominique, I mean, there is a balance, as you point out, but business is also competitive, just like gymnastics at the elite level is competitive. Where then do you find the balance? We live in a world where, yes, we have to make sure that our kids' mental and physical well-beings are there, but we also have to instill in them a sense of competition that they want to win, especially yep. in things like business. So where is that balance and how do you find that with your business right now? You know, I went through a very challenging childhood in some degree where I sacrificed my childhood um, to win an Olympic gold medal, to get to three different Olympic games. And it was 24 seven work, work, work. And if you weren't doing well in the gymnastics gym, you felt little of yourself and I don't want that for my children there has to be that healthy balance where they learn about hard work they learn about commitment they learn about competition I learned so much from my Olympic failure um, that I'm actually grateful that I did fall at the 1996 Olympic Games um, but at the same time it cannot be the end-all be-all you know at the end of the day and I will have a, a final day here on earth um, you know if it's all about growing my business and the numbers and I didn't really enjoy the journey or enjoy those loved ones around me, I will know that I missed out and I regretted things. And that's what I try to, you know, my husband actually does a good job of that because he can have a blast no matter where he is. He's having a blast right now at his family's. Um, wherever, no matter where he is, he can enjoy the people around him. And it's not always about the bottom line or work, work, work. And so I think, um, you know, having that balance with my husband has been beneficial because he'll see our kids out on the back swinging on a swing set. And I'm like, oh, no, they've got to go to gymnastics practice or swim or dive. And he's like, let them be kids. There has to be that balance. And at the end of the day, it's about them being happy, healthy kids, good people that love themselves, love their family, have great friendships, and they will be happy and whole. I know too many people that are very successful in the world's eyes with regards to successful businesses or having significant amount of money in the account but they're wiped out, they're exhausted, and they have poor relationships with their spouse as well as with their kids, and it's not worth it. I did this because I want to give back to the community. That's why I'm sitting in one of my academies right now. I want to have these positive seeds planted, but I also don't want this to be my end-all, be-all, that at the end of the day, 
I don't want to be laying on my deathbed looking at my spouse and saying, I wish I spent more time with you, or looking at my kids and saying, I wish I gave you more time, because that's really all our kids want more than anything is to be with us and to be loved by us and to be nurtured by us. And that's, that's my number one priority.